Why do I ignore women I like and don't ignore women I don't like? Um, because the ones you like are trophies in your head. They're on such high pedestals that you will always self-sabotage. The second you start treating the ones on pedestals identical to Walmart moms, identical to everyone else texting you on your phone, the second you start believing it, the second it becomes the norm, is the second they sense it. And then they feel they're not that hot and they come back down to earth and now you can shoot your shot. And yeah, it really is about, it's not, you don't even have to say anything, but they can pick up that you're treating them different, right? Even if you ignore the sh let's say you're in a room with one, she senses she's better than you because you're avoiding the trouble, right? This is why I say the number one thing you have to do is a good first impression. And then like, just like the basics, man, it's just the basics. You hold frame, don't do anything she wants to do, do what you want to do. And she will just fall into it every single time, especially if your life is interesting, it, it, you don't need that much money and stuff like that. You should have money, but your life has to be interesting. Or, and if, if you ever wonder like, how do I make an interesting life? You don't have to make an interesting life, make conversations interesting. If you can find a way to be an interesting person, interesting to talk to, everyone wants to talk to you. And you'll usually know that if haters want to really talk to you, right? If haters are also, plus people like you, if they all want, want to yap with you, then you're an interesting person. And that's how a lot of average guys have good, like a good circle of bitches that they go through or a dime they're dating is they've got interesting conversations with a regular high paying job, good lifestyle, regular li lifestyle with some money. That's it. That's all you need. Cause interest, when you can, when, when you are interesting, you have attention. Attention is everything, right? Attention is everything. Once you have someone's attention, it's game over, right? Um, now being interesting is tricky because that means you have to unravel your soul, right? You have to unfold your soul. Okay. So that's, that's like a longer process, right? <clears throat> the harder she thinks she is, the less you validate her. Well, no, that's like a horrible rule. A lot of red pill guys say the harder she is, the less you should validate her. No, she'll pick up on that too, right? And it'll still work, but there's a higher level to this. Validate her as much as you would an ugly chick. It's better if you're mirroring. It's way better. It's impossible to read a man if he keeps treating you like every other chick. It's very easy to read a man that is just nagging you or keeping you low for no reason. Right? That's a lot of... Even though it works, I feel like it's more effective if you just put everyone in that communist position of... All the hot girls and the mid girls and the ugly girls are all in one communist group and you're the emperor. That's way better in my opinion, right? That's, and that's opposite. That is the opposite of not validating her, right? Um, like Myron will give the advice, don't validate her. But when you watch the show, Myron's not doing that. You know, his advice is great, but he doesn't get what he's explaining. What he's, watch the show and Myron will validate the hot one as much as he would the fat one he's literally doing what i'm saying watch the show that this is what people mean to say right you have to like read the room thickly women have gotten a lot more attractive as they got a lot more lonely and i'm not talking about women who are single i'm talking about the lonely woman that's married but she still feels alone right and that's people don't realize that a man's biggest fear for marriage is it's not actually him being cuck and her leaving him. His biggest fear is she stays the whole 50 years without even being attracted to him. That's a bigger fear. That's because it's like she's the constant reminder that your soul didn't unfold, right? Because it sounds crazy, but beyond being intellectual, beyond being all these other things, and these things go into what I'm about to say, but the one thing you have to become is from a metal to a magnet and like you have to be attractive. It, nothing else makes sense for the man and the woman. This is why Kamala and Trump are obsessed with their looks. How did I look when I was talking about this? Did I sound crazy here? You have to be attractive to win. 
It's always been like this. You have to even throw the spear in an attractive way. If you attack someone and you say, you have to say it with conviction, right? Everything you do must be attractive, right? But here's the weird thing is, the more attractive that the, the women's side has gotten, the more they've repelled men. And it's because there's an illusion with being an attra attractive person. For example, um, why are most average, most average people do get, get on along with each other, but attractive people come with this center point of consciousness, their ego, it's refined. You know, the ego, the ego, you gotta feed the ego experiences or else it'll fucking it'll team up with the shadow and lash out and destroy your life, right? But now check this out. These people with these overdeveloped egos, they have more voices in their heads telling them, dump this bitch. And that's unacceptable. It, that is that is a curse. I don't know why people say ugly people are cursed. Excuse me, mid people, right? There's no such thing as ugly people. You just, there's no such thing. Okay, it's just mid people and good looking people, right? God don't make no ugly. You just, those are not, those are people not trying, right? I can literally grab any guy off the street and make him mid within three months of gym, dressing up and talking different. Like it's so easy. But um, yeah, something strange has happened where as women leveled up their beauty, they became very alone, very hard to relate to. And that's usually for like, I know no one gives women advice because they're, they're gonna do whatever they want. But if there was ever genuine advice to give them, it's a guy falls for you when he relates to you. So when a woman uh, you're dating reminds you of your uncle, mom, cousin, brother, or dad, for one split second is when you're bonding with her. I know it sounds crazy, but look into your past. It's real. This, this, the psychological takes I have are perfect, right? They're perfect. Um, those are the moments where she looks uh, like a real object to you and a real object of your desire because you see her up until 70 years old when you relate to her. The less you relate, the less you're going to be into actually bagging realize this right like some rippers get it they know how to fake that <laughs> but uh, most chicks don't realize this they're always playing the anima they're not playing themselves and it's like the self is attractive right when people say from the bottom of soul what they're thinking the world sees them as ugly but when they say it without giving a fuck everyone loves them especially women right and uh i do wonder what it is about you know what is it with millionaire guys? And I hate how this is like a Twitter war between the feminists and my side. It's not a war. Everyone agrees. Millionaire men that are chads and tall always get the short end of the stick. 